to Alice in Yoga Land. Today, I wanted to discuss a little bit about the Vedas, the oldest sacred scripture we have known at this point in history. And in the Vedas, the very beginning, the most spoken about God in the Vedas is Agni. And Agni represents fire. Now in the Vedas, what they first describe as um, what these families did to evoke the gods, to ask for whatever they needed, they asked Agni the god. But it consisted of mantra. Mantra are the chants, whatever we ask for. Yantra, yantras are the the geometric movements, the esoteric or the sacred um, geometry, basically. So our asanas that we do in yoga, those are our yantras. They're they're um, they're, they're different kinds of shapes. So mantra, yantra, and mudra. Now mudra was mudras was seals. So like we do chin mudra, we do yan mudra, these kind of things. So mudras were sealed. So in the Vedas, you read about the yantra, the mantra, and the mudras. So they evoked the gods through fire and ceremony. The ceremonies were called yagnas. So they would sit in circles and they would ask, for what they needed and they would offer the gods something so they may make a fire and that would be their offering or they may offer flowers they may offer uh, at that time they may even offer an animal as a as a as an offering and in so it may that animal may get sacrificed so what happened was this is how they did it and they sat in a circle so in many of my other YouTube videos, I would show you a asana along with a story. Now, I've done this asana before. It's malasana, and it's the garland pose. But it kind of, for me, represents a circle. And with my hands on the ground, in almost like a cup or something offered there. or So it looks like an offering, you see? So it's a form of puja. It's a form of worship or prayer. This is what these families did in the early Vedic period. This is how they would evoke the gods. And if the gods liked what they were offered or liked what they heard or uh, were thrilled with the mantra, the yantra, or the mudra, they would, of course, bless these people with what they asked for. So with that being said, so it was like a circle. They created heat. In the circle, the fire would create heat. When we create heat, we do it through bellows and bastrika. So you may see in a yoga class at the beginning of the class, after we set intention, asking for what we want, we may go into a breathing practice, which is called bellows and bastrika. Bellas and Bastik is done many ways, but one of the ways to create heat goes like this. So we would look down with the arms up and Now people may also go up and down to do this, but as for the camera, I'm just showing you sitting on the backs of the heels. So it creates heat, like a bellows for a fireplace. It makes the fire hot, hotter. So this is what the people did to evoke the gods. Through Agni, they created heat, they created fire. They asked Agni, the god, who was the first god mentioned in the Vedas, and they asked him for help, whatever it is that they needed. They may have offered him a flower. They may have offered him food. They may have offered him an animal sacrifice. Whatever it was, that's how they basically sat around and did their prayer, their worship. And 
as it was supposedly written down, and nobody knows for sure because this was thousands of years ago, it was heard, it was through listening. So everything was through Shruti being heard. And do we really know what those families chanted and what they heard as it was passed down from family to family to family? What we know is that we have thousands of different sacred texts. We have hundreds of scholars, I am not one of them, but I am constantly reading what each scholar has to say. And this is just my take on some of these things that I've read, but I think it's important for us to understand little bits and pieces of why we do what we do. So we sat in a circle, fire, Agni, he was a god who, you know, maybe was a messenger who went up to the main gods or the main god or whoever that higher power is spirit and asked him to come on down and or just you know bless these people what whatever whatever they needed at that point in time and that's today's story thank you for joining me at alice in yoga land don't forget to subscribe and come back next time